In this session, we need to know what is the cyber security issue. So, we need to learn what is vulnerability. Vulnerability is a word used in the field of digital security to describe a defect or a gap in a digital system that allows it to be attacked. There may be flaws in policy methods, hardware use or computer systems, anything that makes your information vulnerable. To attack might be source of vulnerability. Consider your digital security like a house with all of your valuables inside. It is made up of four walls and roof as well as windows and doors. The walls and roof are tough for a thief to break through. But the windows and doors are a different matter. A door or window that isn't securely closed or latched or has become simpler to force open due to poor maintenance might be a risk. When an opportunist thief observes this, he or she will try to break into your home. These are the hacking efforts that are the most direct. Why go to the trouble of attempting to identify the weak spots when you can just ask the homeowner to open a door or a window for you? This is the phishing strategy. You are drawn to the door and persuaded to open it and let the thief in a by devious way, they can create a major disturbance once inside or as a demonstrated in the next stage, they just want to prove they can get in. Let us understand what type of attacks we need to uh, learn and that is why I would like to highlight types of attackers for your reference. As the world adopts more digital and hyper connected components, attackers will have more possibilities and pathways to get access to our most sensitive data. From banking to retail, healthcare to entertainment and even government, data breaches have become routine. There is no industry that is unaffected. Cyber black markets provide computer hackers with the tools and service they need to carry out cyber crime attacks and sell stolen data such as a credit cards, personal information and intellectual property. Attackers also known as a cyber threat actors are classified according to their aims, motivations and capabilities. These threat actors might be classified as a cyber terrorist, hacktivist, state sponsored actors or cyber criminals depending on their motive. Let us understand type of attacks. State sponsored hacking, understanding what information you have, how you utilize digital infrastructure to interact with it and therefore, that sorts of assaults are most likely to be a problem are the basic principles of digital security. A opponent for example, could want to hack your system to learn what new items you are working on. In terms of one country trying to figure out what another is up to this is similar to hacking government agencies or there is opportunities looking to make a quick buck by exploiting a flaw data theft for sale or extortion. There are many additional reasons, but you should think about not only the information you have and who could be interested in it, but also what would happen if an internal individual such as a member of staff decided to leak or ransom it. Some examples of vulnerability are a flaw in a firewall that allows a malicious hacker to gain access to computer network, inadequate security cameras, business establishments with unlocked doors. All of these flaws can be used by others to harm a company or its assets. What caused the vulnerability? There are many causes of vulnerabilities like complex system, complex systems increase the probability of misconfigurations, flaws 
or unintended access. Familiarity Attackers may be familiar with a common code, operating systems, hardware and software that lead to known vulnerabilities. Connectivity Connected to device are more prone to have vulnerabilities. Poor password management Poor password management means weak and reuse passwords can lead from one data breach to several. OS flaws, operating systems can have a flaws too. Unsecured operating system by defaulting can give users full access and become a target for viruses and malware. Internet, the internet is a full of spyware and adware that can be installed automatically on computers. Software bugs, programmers can sometimes accidentally leave an exploitable bug in the software. Unchecked user input. If software or a website assumes that all input is a safe, it may run unintended SQL commands. People. Social engineering is the biggest threat to the majority of organizations. So, humans can be one of the biggest causes of vulnerability. After understanding what is vulnerability, we also need to learn types of vulnerability. System misconfiguration, unpatched or outdated software and missing or poor data encryption. We also need to understand what is vulnerability management and how does it work. Vulnerability management is a cyclical process that involves identifying, classifying, remediating and mitigating security flaws. Vulnerability management consists of three components, vulnerability detection, vulnerability assessment and vulnerability remediation. Detection of vulnerabilities. The three ways for detecting vulnerabilities are vulnerability analysis, Google hacking, penetration testing. For securing IT infrastructure, VAPT is important aspect to secure IT infrastructure and its access management. So, VAPT is important for cyber security for avoiding cyber issue. Let us understand impact of cyber crime. A single successful cyber assault can have a far reaching consequences including financial losses, intellectual property theft and loss of customer confidence. Cyber crime has a monetary impact on a society and government that is believed to be in the billions of dollars every year. Victims of cybercrime may lose all they own. Safety, tranquility, money and property are perhaps fundamental values since they help to fulfill a variety of desires. Crime as a male violence aspects of society. Despite the fact that crime free society is a fiction, crime is in reality which can't be unnoticed that is an inevitable component of social existence. The question is why is there so much ado about cyber crime? May upset some people. No one can deny that cyber crime is a social phenomena. It is everywhere and it is nothing new. It is one of the defining characteristics of all civilization that have ever been civilized or uncivilized and it is one of the basic impulses of all human behavior. Impact over socio eco political provision, impact over teenager, impact of cyber crime over digital economy, impact over consumer behavior, impacts of cyber crime over private industry, impact over emotion, impact over business, impact over youth. So, let us understand how we can conclude the cyber crime, its incident management and the vulnerability assessment program. According to research, there is a no law that can successfully eliminate the epidemic of cyber crime. Attempts have been made on a local and international level. However, these laws continue to have a flaws. What is considered a crime is one nation may not be in another, making it simple for cyber criminals to flee after being apprehended. Between criminals and ordinary users, the future of the internet is still up 
for a grabs. Fears of cyber apocalypse persist and the scope of harm that may be produced by large scale fraud is virtually limitless. As a result, cybercrime is becoming a more serious danger to our society. Thank you.